This is our guest Kaur from Estonia. Mm -hmm. uh, so he arrived in Nepal uh, in the last of December 2013. Yes. Uh, so before uh, uh, before also you have visited Nepal. Yes, two years ago. Two years before. Yes. So this time, uh, for what reason did you came for Nepal? Well, we came from Mani Trukchen, which is in Trikungunya Chenling Monastery, uh -huh, right. end of December, and then after that we wanted to go uh -huh. to the trekking. Uh. Log trek, trek, yeah. So uh, you came uh, for some meditation course. Yes, that was the Mani Trukchen in uh, this monastery for 10 days. Uh -huh, I see. So did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was very nice. Uh, this year there are especially very high lamas there. I see. So if in Nepal, tourists not only come for the purpose of adventure or, or tours, they also come for the uh, some spiritual uh, uh, enlightenment or some meditation techniques to learn something about the uh, uh, other cultures. Yes, especially yeah. Buddhist meditation. Especially Buddhist. Yes. Uh -huh, I see. So you were very satisfied with the Buddhist uh, monastery. Yes, the monastery here. is a very nice place and teachers are very nice and the uh -huh. program is very nice. Right, that, that sounds good. So, uh, yeah, in Nepal we have lots of monastery also. Uh, so the people can come to the meditation. Uh, so it's also the part of tourism. Yes. Yeah, so uh, yes, yeah. uh, we will now talk about the trekking. Mm -hmm. So after finishing the meditation course in the monastery, that you choose the Langtang trekking. Yes. Yeah. What made you to choose the Langtang? You say Langtang because it's close to close uh, to Kathmandu. Uh, uh, they right. said it's uh, easier compared uh, easier to compared to other trekking. Other trekking exactly. So it means you are not very experienced trekker. So that this was our first trek. Uh, last time we were we were in Pokhara, we just climbed up the hill Pokhara for a few uh, hours. Uh, uh, now we decided to do something a little more serious. Right. That, that sounds good. So uh, actually you went for a, like 10, 11 days trekking uh, which was organized by Good Karma Trekking. Exactly. So uh, but uh, uh, you came a bit faster like uh, after 5-6 days you returned to Karfunlu. Yes because what yeah. uh, with Long Tang it's you just go up the hill and then you come back the, down the hill and then you should go back up again but uh -huh. my girlfriend uh, she, it was her first time again she was mm -hmm. a bit tired so we thought we make it shorter because it's very uh -huh. good we, in three days you go up to 5000 meters and then uh -huh. you have kind of conquered uh, uh -huh. hill top and then you can <laughs> come back down and for her it wasn't psychologically ah, she didn't want to go back up again uh. right right so uh, it was basically the problem in the walking that you were not very much experienced with that landscape exactly the landscape yeah. is uh, you have to uh, go up is easy actually ah, because ah. going up it just takes physical strength but coming down takes a little more skill mm, more hard, yeah yes. so d because of that reason you came to Karfum exactly uh, yeah so uh, how did you find the Langtang area Langtang was very nice and the very length nice. was very nice also because going up three days coming down three Days uh -huh. was exactly like uh, good enough for us, or I mean, <laughs> uh, it, it wasn't too strenuous. Yeah, so, uh -huh. say. so you enjoyed the trekking overall. Yeah, it was very nice. The views were nice. The so, uh, was nice. And so how were the staffs that were working for you, like guide porters? Yeah, guide and porters were also very nice and experienced, and they uh -huh. chose the right pace for us. So. Uh -huh. That sounds good. So you were very satisfied with the staffs that we provided in your service. Yes, that sounds good, and. Um, uh, you choose the jeep to Langdang uh, yes. when going and also by coming back you also came by jeep. Yes, because we have had experience with buses in uh -huh. Nepal and in uh -huh. India and for us it seems if you want to go to the Syrian place for trekking uh -huh. then it is little makes more sense to pay a little more and have a nice journey to uh -huh. the trekking and journey back instead uh -huh. of being in the hustling or bustling in the buses. Uh. Uh -huh. So for us it seemed reasonable after five days of five climbing days. up and down the hill it uh, would be nice to just enjoy our ride back instead of fighting right, for right. seat. So for the safety, to just to avoid the public crowded bus, you choose the jeep exactly. and it was fine on your behalf. Yeah, it was very good. Uh -huh, that, that sounds good. So uh, especially the trekkers who are going to Langtang region where there are no airports, so uh, the jeep are very recommended it means. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. 
Uh, yeah, so for the future guests also, we will be recommending the jeeps so that uh, the safety will be the primary concern. The safety and the pace also, you can choose when to have lunch and everything is very nice uh, and you know, relaxed, you have room. <laughs> yeah, and how were the tea houses, accommodations, because yeah. you, you used to live in the Estonia, it is a developed country. Yes. So in the mountain region of Nepal, were you able to uh, have a good place to sleep? Yeah, the places were all very nice and clean and we special like the food because uh -huh. everything is locally sourced and locally made. Uh -huh. uh, the food is even a little bit better than here sometimes. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. So they were providing you most of the time local foods? Yes, local foods local were provided foods. because uh, everything they grow themselves, I think, mm -hmm. or source mm -hmm. close by. Uh. Yeah. So overall, uh, your trip was very success, your Nepal tour was very fine. Yes. And now uh, you are very close to fly to your house. Yes, well, yeah. quite common, <laughs> especially I think this off season that people are not here is actually, for us it's better season. We come from up north in Estonia, so yeah. uh -huh. in the daytime it gets up to 20 degrees, in night times wow. it's zero or below zero, but actually the weather is always, has been clear all uh, the time. Right, right. So you will be uh, recommending your friends to visit Nepal, do meditations yes. uh, in the future. Yes, and especially I think December, January is very good that there is not that many other tourists. Yeah, the tourists, yeah. And the weather is bearable, you just have to have a good sleeping bag. Good sleeping bag, yeah. <laughs> so people say that January, December are a bit off season in Nepal and they only uh, recommend October or March. So it doesn't mean that uh, mm, uh, you have to only come in the season time, that the December, January are also good for you. Yes, especially in these remote areas you have less tourists there. Mm -hmm. When you go there you can have the old path yourself. So uh, say. Your path, yeah. <laughs> your own private path someday. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So what, uh, what, what other problems did you encounter during Nepal? Do you have any suggestions that you can give us so we can upgrade uh, our... The only thing is this yeah. uh, water thing that uh, the higher uphill you go, the more expensive the mineral water becomes. Mm, water. Uh -huh. So one thing is that to take the tablets with us, we didn't have the tablets, but we found a place uh, where we can get uh -huh. water cheaper. So we yeah. brought a lot of water with us uh, when we went up and when coming down. Uh -huh. So this is the consideration that we have to think to either uh -huh. buy the water purification tablets or uh, mm. be ready to pay the higher you go up the hill right. more for the water more for the water yeah yes in the Everest region um, the, all the things are carried by plane and they are very expensive so it's better to have your own purification tablet or some other source of water mm -hmm. uh, but whereas in Annapurna Langtang um, Sometimes you can also buy mineral yeah, water. You can buy mineral water, but yeah. that's the thing. Down uh, at the base state, or what's the name of the city? Or the, uh, just, uh, the uh, South Siampuri, no. Siaprubeshi. So Siaprubeshi, yeah, 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 yeah. it's 70 uh, rupees, rupees per, per mineral water. Mineral water. Uh -huh. But when you go to Long Tang, it's already 200 rupees per rupees. Rupees. Uh -huh, yeah. So that's the difference. So for future travelers, you want to make them sure that they have their own uh, water purification tablet. With yes, them. that would be good to yeah. recommend because you can buy them right here from supermarkets. Uh, that, so. That's a very good idea, yeah. So the future traders, they have to uh, no, notice this before they come to Nepal. No, 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 even before they go to Long Tang, they can even yeah, buy yeah. it in Kathmandu. So they can, yeah, buy in Kathmandu also. It's okay. a big cosmopolitan city. Yes. Yeah, all things are available. Yeah. In Thailand, even they can buy the, some trekking gear, sleeping bags. Everything from Thailand. Anything Thaman. they need from Thailand, yeah.